Hey folks, it's Finn. This week's vlog is a much lighter topic and one of joyful celebration. I am so camp. Earlier this week, I turned three years post top surgery, that's chest reconstruction surgery, which I had with the wonderful Mr. Andrew Yelland at the Nuffield Hospital in Brighton on the 27th of November, 2013. And I think at three years post-op, I've probably done the healing I'm going to do, I would have thought by now. However, I will of course continue to update as the years go on because sometimes it's only in looking back that you can see just how much has changed. And actually I've been looking back at a lot of the videos this week and I have changed quite a lot, it, not just my chest, but everywhere, of course. I've got to say that the gratitude of this chest has just never worn off. At three years post-op, I still have moments where I'm just in absolute joy at this freedom I have now because of not having those awful growth things that grew. Looking back at my vlogs, I remember this so very clearly when I finally got the letter that said I was having top surgery. And yesterday, I got home to find this. My referral letter. Oh my God. So I'm booked in for top surgery on the 27th of November. I cannot believe this is happening. That was one amazing day and one that changed my life in ways that I just couldn't have imagined. I knew I had dysphoria, I knew it was horrible, but when you're in a state of horribleness, you just want the horribleness to end. You can't imagine the other side of it where it's really good. And oh my word, the way life has opened up, just the amount of things I can do and spaces I can access, and the way I can get closer to people now because they're gone, is just amazing and it never gets old. The time has gone really quick, but I still so clearly remember that day. It's so bizarre to wake up from surgery happy. Nobody chooses surgery, do they? It's, it's horrible and painful and difficult, but for us, surgery is something completely different. Surgery is the beginning of a new freedom, and that was certainly how I experienced it. I've had my surgery, can you tell? So funny, apparently I woke up from surgery grinning. I still can't believe it's real. Watching back this chest reveal was also amazing to watch. That's fine. So we're looking good. There is a little bit more bruising on that side as we'd expect, but nothing, okay. nothing too bad. Everything's too good to vote. Um, what I'm just going to do is... <laughs> so things look fine. That's amazing. Oh my All god, right. that's my chest. That is, yeah. Yeah. It's oh good. God. No, it's all right. I'm, I'm, like I said, sorry you got bruised, but other than that, that it's fine. It's absolutely amazing. I remember so clearly kind of just looking down at my chest and just being in complete disbelief. And then when I stood up and Mr. Yellen showed me the mirror, it was just, I was just overwhelmed. All I wanted to do was cry and hug Mr. Yellen there and then. He's such an amazing guy and he's just so nonchalant about what he does, but wow, you know, he makes a difference to our lives. He really, really does. And I'll never be able to thank him enough for that. So let's have a look at the comparison so far. This is my chest at one year post-op. And this is my chest now at two years post-op. My chest at three years post-op. And I was right in my prediction. Not much has changed really. I think the scars have got slightly whiter, but more than anything, I've just got hairier. I have got the starts of a hairy chest. It's, you know, like on those, the edges of rugs, the fancy rugs, they have like that kind of like fancy frilly edge thing. It's kind of like that. They are definitely whiter, but more than anything, the disguise of the hair really helps. So yes, there you go. My chest at three years post-op. I think from looking at that progression, you can see that the whitening started to happen at around a year. So it kind of went from the very purple it was up until about six months post-op and then the kind of more red and pink. And then by just over a year, they'd started to whiten. And then that progressed over the next kind of six months to a year. And now they've just kind of stayed white 
and just got hairier. I have turned into a bear. But that's a good thing because it really quite successfully hides the incision line and I'll just turn around so you can see it all here. On the other side. As you can see, as I mentioned in the other video, I do have this slight extra bit of fat there, this dog earring, which I could have rectified, but I just can't be bothered. It's mine and I'm happy with it. And you know, no one ever sees it except me and it's not excessive. And I'm still carrying a little bit of 40 year old weight that refuses to go. So, you know, if that goes, then that might go, who knows. What I have noticed from showing someone recently is the marks where the binder cut into me when I had the um, hematoma do seem to have gone. My nipples that were a constant fret <laughs> in the very beginning are fine, absolutely fine. I think a lot of it, as I said, was getting used to having shape and nipples where I'd been binding and been flat. Suddenly having this nipple was making me feel a bit dysphoric in the beginning. It was just weird to get used to. And then I worried they were too big, but I've got to a point now where they're absolutely fine and I love them. I love my nipples. Let's do one last turn for you. In terms of post-op care, I am still massaging every day, but that's more because it's a part of my routine. I won't go into all the detail now of scar aftercare and what have you. I've covered that loads in my other videos, which I can link here. Someone asked a question about burying my scars in the sun and when I do that, and I was very careful up until a year that I didn't take my top off. And if I did, I made sure I used complete 100% sunblock to protect that scar. But since a year and a half post-op, I just take my top off now and I just put on regular sunscreen as you do with everything else and, and it's fine. So I think that's about it really in terms of top surgery. I will of course always update but I think now it's the case of we're done. Um, it might be a case I'm going to get hairier, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to stop. I've reached that point in my transition where I'm now saying that's enough hair. I never thought I'd say that but I have now really got enough hair people. Thanks for watching everybody. If you do have some questions regarding top surgery there is a huge playlist which you can find here and in that I cover pre-op, post-op, scar massage, all sorts so do check that out. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with regular uploads. Next week looks to be quite an interesting one because on Sunday I am going to something called a cuddle party. On reading the blurb about it, it looks as if I will find it very useful in my continuing exploration of my sexuality. So do stay tuned for that. And as always, you can come over and join us on the FinFan page to keep up to date with all other sorts of goings on and to chat to me about anything and everything. And you can find that here. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you next week after my cover party.